We are taters. That's for ya, booger mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to the vlog. I know it's been a week since I vlogged, but it's been um, a hell of a week, folks. I'm sorry, but it has. It's been... Woo! I have been so tired, and I know I mentioned on the last vlog how sickly I've been. Um, this pregnancy has really been kind of hard on me so far. I'm so sad because it's like I can't even lift my arms to eat breakfast. <laughs> this is pregnant. This is what pregnant looks like. <sighs> But today I'm so excited. Today is the day that I start my iron fusions. And I'm just like, I don't want to get my hopes up too high just because I've been so sick. And I don't want to like expect this to be like the miracle that saves me. But I really do kind of have my hopes up. Like I'm ready to feel better. And everyone keeps telling me like, oh, you're going to feel so much better after you go and do the infusions. And so that is this afternoon. And then tomorrow, we've got some um, exciting plans. Sophia and I are going to visit with Daddy in North Carolina. Yay! It's been a long time coming, folks. We've had so, I've had so many doctor's appointments that I've had to go to in the last week. So, with the procedure that I had to have, um, which, by the way, has worked. Well, we think has pretty much worked. I don't think that we're going to have to have surgery. The doctor said, I went for my follow-up on that. And the doctor said that uh, it looks like I'm healing up good with you know what they did and that it doesn't look like i'm gonna need surgery so that was very good news um but yeah with all the doctor's appointments just with that and then with um just going to the you know my normal doctor visits um it's been a week y'all <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> but that's okay because today is the day hopefully i'm gonna be healed and i'm gonna get some iron in my body and i'm gonna feel better um, Sophia, she's crazy. She's just been running amok and, um, uh, she's like getting so close to walking. You know, this morning I'm up in her nursery and every morning what we do is like, I'll go upstairs and I'll get her and I'll lay down on the floor with her. Cause I've been so tired. I have like a pillow and blanket up there. So I'll like let her loose in her room, you know, with the door closed and she'll just run around and crawl all over me while I just kind of lay there pitiful, you know? And, um, and I'll give her her breakfast and then she'll run around and today she just got up. She has one of those little walker things and she just got up on her own. Like I didn't prompt her to do it. I didn't like put her hands on it and was like, walk. She just did it by herself. She got up and like took three or four steps before she fell down, hold it on to that little walker. So that was really exciting. I was like, oh my gosh, you're like about to start walking any day now, any day. Um, hopefully it'll be while we're in North Carolina because I know that's something that daddy does not want to miss You know, that's gonna be awesome. I don't want to miss it I need to like make sure that my camera is like ready is nearby and ready every time I'm around Sophia because I just know it's gonna happen any day now. So that's exciting, too um, I am happy. I'm really happy that we're going tomorrow to see him I've got a podcast we're doing with this really awesome local guy tomorrow we're going to uh, do the podcast, and then my sister's going to take me and Sophia to the airport. We're going to fly, and we're going to go see Daddy. Then the next day, which it might even be there tomorrow, but the next day, we're going to find out what the baby is. If it's a girl or a boy. <laughs> so this is what we decided to do. We wanted something just low-key. You know, Corey's not home, so we we wanted to find out as soon as we could. But with him being out of town, like, we didn't want to find out not together. You know, we wanted to be together as a family when we found out. So a girlfriend of mine that lives in Las Vegas, she offered to help me out. And um, she was the one that my doctor called when they found out the gender a couple weeks ago. She, they called her and told her. So she was the only one that knew. And then now she, what she did was she went and got a teddy bear that was either pink or blue. We don't know. And has sent that gift to Sophia. So Sophia is actually going to be the one that finds out first. Like she gets a present and inside her present is going to be blue or pink teddy bear or whatever. So... Um, so we're excited that she's going to be such a big part of the gender of our little at home gender reveal. And I thought that was a cute little idea, a cute little way to find out. Um, we had toyed with a, co a couple other ideas, like this one girl with the North Carolina the hurricanes, the hockey team up there. 
we were going to go to one of their hockey games that's happening while we're there. I think it's like the Philadelphia Flyers play the Hurricanes. And this girl, Brittany, from that state, from the arena, she said that she would put it up on the big screen, on the Megatron for us, if we were at the game. And I was like, well, that's awesome. That sounds like, that was like such a cool idea, because Corey's a big hockey fan, and that would just be so much fun to get a reveal on the Megatron, you know what I mean, at a hockey game. Like, how, what a great idea. But... We talked about it, and it was like, the game doesn't start till 7, which is Sophia's bedtime. We're not going to have a sitter. We're going to be in North Carolina. So, to take her to the game, we do have her little earphones, um, her little noise-canceling things. But, still, it was like, uh, she's going to be cranky. We're going to be probably cranky if she's cranky, and we don't want to be. And, like, and then to have to wait till like, halftime to see, and then we're already tired. It was just like, we. I just don't feel like... That's a good idea. Corey was actually the one. He was like, let's not do that because it's just too late of a game to do it with the baby. So, so that's okay. You know, there's going to be more. There's going to be lots more babies to do this kind of stuff with. So, you know, any idea that we have that we haven't done, we still can do in the future. So, we're really excited about the gender reveal and finding out if it's going to be another little girl or if it's going to be a boy. Either way, we're going to be super excited. I feel like everybody... Okay, so I asked on Instagram, if y'all follow me on Instagram. If you don't, what are you doing? Go follow me over there because I'm posting stuff on there like a lot. But um, it's the Southern Fried Maple Leafs on Instagram. But I posted a picture of my big old belly the other day and my baby bump, you know, which is huge. <laughs> I'm 13 weeks pregnant. Like, why is my belly so big? But... Um, everybody told me, like, you show faster on the second one, so that made me feel a little better, and I think that I just ate a lot that day, and I was, like, really bloated, because I don't even feel like I'm that big anymore, but anyway, um, I asked you all, I posted a picture, and I asked everybody on Instagram if they thought it was a boy or a girl, and y'all, it is, like, overwhelming response that it's gonna be a boy, so, I'm wearing blue, I don't know. Maybe it's a boy. I don't. I really don't know. Like Jenna, my my bestie, she has been so good. Like my sister was harassing her trying to find out what it was, and she was like, "Nope, not tell anybody." I picked the right girl for this job. I did. I was gonna have them call my mom, but I was like, "No, nah, that's stupid." Because I'm gonna take one look at my mom and know immediately if it's a boy or girl. Like she didn't even have to say anything. I just look at her face, and she could smile some way, and I would know. You know. So it definitely needed to be somebody that like lived out of town, wasn't around here, could keep the secret. Jenna did good. Um, so yeah, that's so exciting. We're gonna find out the gender, and then there's some more exciting news. But I don't know if I really want to like say anything and jinx it. No, I'm just gonna tell you guys what's going on because really, at the end of the day, we're either gonna buy the house or we're not. Um, so we looked at this house. We're always looking at houses. I don't know. It's just the thing we do. It's like a hobby. Like, we like to go look at houses. We like to go to open houses for dates. Like, that's our, our ideal date is to go to, like, open houses of houses we'll never afford, you know? We just loved going to um, and looking at new real estate and houses in the area, blah, blah, blah. Well, we love our house. We're absolutely in love with our house. I mean, there's not one thing wrong with it. We are so blessed. Like, I love our house. Are you kidding? It's beautiful. But it's on... It's in a neighborhood, and we have an HOA and a little yard. You know, it's just, like, if we could have our dream home, it'd be, like, to pluck this house up and put it on some acreage. We want some land. We've always wanted land. So, we were always kind of keeping our eye open for, like, a dream house. And, um, and one came up the other day, and we saw it, and it was like, oh, my gosh, this checks all the boxes, you know. Um... Inside, it's not as pretty as our house. Like, our house is new. This one's, um, like, 15 years old. It's built in 2005. But it's on, like, four and a half acres. It's got a pond, like, stocked pond with fish in it. Oh, my gosh. It's got a swimming pool. It's got a pool house with a pool table in the pool house, which is, like, a dream for Corey. It's got two bedrooms in the pool house by itself. Um, and then it's got the big wraparound porch, which I love. Um, it's got extra, like, garage space for Corey and his woodworking. It even has, like, an office in the garage, which would be perfect for Corey. It is literally Corey's dream house. 
like to the T. There's a few things that I would change about it, but Corey, not a thing. Like he's so in love with it. So whatever makes him happy is gonna make me happy. And so we've started looking at it and we've gone, I've gone to look at it. He's in North Carolina, so he hasn't seen it in person, but he's been on the FaceTime with me while I like, you know, stroll around the house, look at, and yeah, we're just, we really like it. Um, we love it. The thing is, is that we would have to sell our house. You know, we can't do two mortgages. We're not the Joneses here. Um, but we would have to sell our house and then, which is not even listed for sale yet. And so that would have to be a contingency. And it's more expensive than our house. And so we we have another baby on the way. I was like, do we really want to spend more money? Then, you know, it's just, it's a lot to think about. It's like a lot to take on. Corey, I know, would do it, but I'm more reserved. I'm like, I don't know if we should you know, um, I don't know folks, we're going to find out today. Like we've been talking to our realtor and we've just been trying to like really make a smart decision and like Corey's like, let's put an offer in on it and let's go for it. And I'm like, okay, let's go for it. I'm cool with that, but let's go for what's within our reach. You know, we don't want to be house poor and we don't want to be, um, uh, you know, we just don't want to reach farther than we, than we're able to do, especially with a new baby coming and then hopefully more babies after that but this would be like the perfect house to raise a little our little family in because it does have land it does have acreage it has that pond it has a swimming pool it has its fenced in so the kids couldn't get into it you know like they're just it's got the big wraparound porch with the rocking chairs and you can sit and watch the kids play and oh drink your sweet tea and go fishing and oh we love it we love it so much so if if all things fall in our favor, if like, you know, they accept our low offer <laughs> and if they accept it with our contingency to sell our house and if our house sells really fast and if we're able to do it financially and like all the little ducks fall in, in, in line, then we might do this. So, I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up about it. We'll see. Today, we'll find out if we're going to actually take the leap or not. We're going to just like look at everything and find out if it's right for us. So y'all wish us luck on that. It just seems like there's a lot going on right now for me, doesn't it? It's like, whew. So now you know why I haven't been doing too much vlogging, but I really have been so sick. Like, ugh. like this is the first time I've worn makeup in a, in, well, since my doctor's visit, but you know what I mean? Like I'm just not even trying to do anything but rest my, my body. I want to make sure my baby's okay, and today's the day. Wish me luck, folks. I'm going in. I'm going to get some iron in my body. Hopefully, that'll make me feel better. Um, Y'all pray for me, because <laughs> I'm going to need it. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I hope you're all having a great week so far. I know it's only Monday, but stay positive. You know, only four more days. <laughs> and uh, I'll be taking the vlog along with me for sure over the week and going into North Carolina. Hopefully I'm going to feel like myself again after today and I'll have the energy to do a lot more vlogging over the next week or so. So uh, don't give up on me folks. <laughs> don't give up on me yet. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm here for the comeback. All right. Have a good week. We'll see y'all in the next vlog. Peace.